Okay, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you the use of the Visual Studio Code Editor in its basic uh, operation. So, <clears throat> to get ready for this demo, I went ahead and created a project in Visual Studio, which is our typical Hello World program. So, we'll be using this as our code base uh, to demonstrate the basic functionality of the code editor. So, I'll go ahead and start up Visual Studio Code. <coughs> and you'll notice... Um, right away that the program is very lightweight and it's it's quick to start up. So once the program is started, I'll go ahead and I'll open in Visual Studio you would open a solution in Visual Studio Code you just basically need to point to a file directory. So I'll use the open folder command and I'll go ahead and navigate to the directory where my um, uh, solution is for the Visual Studio program. So I'm navigating um, to the documents directory and then out to Visual Studio projects and here's my web application so I'm gonna go ahead and click select folder and this should go ahead and load and now you can see the application loaded uh, in Visual Studio code um, over in the left hand side in the exploration piece so <clears throat> this again is the typical structure for an ASP.NET MVC program so I'll go ahead and look at one of the views here, and I'll look at, um, under the home view, um, the index view. So again, this is Hello World um, that was uh, uh, created, and I'll make a simple change. So you can see right away once that this is loaded, that Visual Studio Code understands uh, the syntax for ASPX pages. See the, the color highlighting? Uh, the, the, the various tags in the ASP.NET. So this is part of the uh, feature of Visual Studio Code that it understands the syntax of all these different languages and file formats. So I'll make a simple change here. I'll change ASP.NET to Hello World. And I'll go ahead and save this file change make a very simple editor change and now I'll go ahead and I'll rerun this um, in Visual Studio.net we'll go ahead and let this compile and, and load and you can see that I've made a simple change here in the program so let's go ahead and look maybe at a little little deeper uh, level of change I'll go ahead and uh, stop the debugger here and I'll go back into code um, some of the other things you can notice in the code editor, um, you can see the different, uh, uh, the, the position down here I'm pointing to down at the bottom, what the line number and the column position is of the current uh, um, cursor. I can go ahead and move that and you can see the column um, uh, index changing. You can see the syntax of, of the file. So by clicking under, under the, <coughs> on the bottom right hand, you can see a pop-up that says select language mode. So in this case, it's, it's, it knows that this is Razor syntax for ASP.NET MVC. And you can see the different file types that are supported by the editor. So you can see XML, Visual Basic, uh, Swift, uh, SQL files, PowerShell, PHP, Objective-C, um, Java, JavaScript. So this is, really is a very powerful editor that understands natively a, a number of different uh, formats. So um, we'll look at a couple of other uh, quick features in the program. Um, if I look under the preferences, I can change some of the things for user settings, um, workspace settings, different keyboard shortcuts that you can implement, uh, user snippets. So snippets is a, a powerful thing where you can have predefined uh, pieces of code that you can uh, uh, insert um, uh, on the fly. Color themes, um, the default color theme is the dark color theme. I can select a different color theme and you can see that it'll change the, the, the color settings. Um, a lot of people really like different color themes. Uh, uh, I, I prefer maybe a, a lighter color theme. Um, let's go back to the preferences and we'll look at maybe one other color theme that's predefined here. There's a red color theme. So uh, that's probably not very readable for, for a lot of people. 
So I'll, I'll go ahead and um, uh, change the preferences back. Again, this is under preferences and under color theme. And the dark color theme is, is the default. So I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. Um, some of the other features in here, we can do a, um, a find and replace uh, functionality. So I'll, I'll go ahead and maybe move my cursor down here. And under the replace, I'll replace ASP with, um, let's, let's replace this with hello. So I can go through and step through and find the next uh, occurrence of this as well as replacing the next occurrence of this. So I'll go ahead and step through that and replace, uh, I'll skip that one. I'll move to the next occurrence and you can see it on the screen and there's actually only a couple of occurrences that it's, that it's found here. So I'll go ahead and close this dialog. Um, let's make one other simple change. There we go. I'll save this. I'll go back into Visual Studio and, and just rerun this application quickly. So I'll go ahead and start this without debugging. And now we can see our simple change uh, has been reflected on uh, um, within the program within uh, .NET. So uh, again, it's a very lightweight, simple uh, editor as far as a code editor. If you want to get help on, on some of the other um, uh, commands and features that it supports, um, if, you, if you bring up the uh, documentation page, we'll go ahead and load the documentation page uh, from the internet. Um, you can also look at uh, the release notes that are out there. You can report issues if you want to go ahead and uh, get changes to this. Um, so there's a lot and access to a lot of different um, uh, tools under the help menu. There's also a developer tools um, feature that you, that you can toggle. So you can look at a lot more detailed um, kind of uh, um, much like Fiddler or some other tools that you can plug into a web browser. You can really look at a lot more detailed uh, uh, things and we'll, we'll look at that in a future lesson as well, but not, not in this lesson. Um, basically there's some things under the go to menu where you can um, um, search for different lines. Uh, you can uh, navigate to a particular line in the source file. So say if you want to go to line 100 in a source file, you can you can do that. Um, actually, there isn't 100 lines in here, so we'll go to line uh, 20, for example, and it will take us uh, to that line in, in the package. So that really can, concludes the basic uh, operation of Visual Studio Code and uh, some of the basic editing features. In future videos, uh, I'm going to put together how you can also compile and debug ASP.NET uh, 5 code um, uh, on different platforms as well. So that's in a, in a future release of the class. I'll be adding those lectures in to show that support. But for right now, this is um, the basic operation of the code editor. So in this uh, the whole lesson, we've shown kind of an overview of the program, how to install it, and how to get going with the basic operation of Visual Studio Code. So. Thank you so much for uh, watching the lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks again.